Okay, so here's another example um, showing that dealing with a, a matrix unit. And so I'm going to show you what happens and explain why, what's going on here. So if we multiply on the left by this matrix unit, and we're going to multiply this here. What's going on here? Well, you can go through the mechanics, and you can see that it's going to. It's in the second. It's in the uh, second column here, first row, second column. And notice that these are going to be zero. This is going to be zero times this, right? Plus one times this, so you get seven. And then if you rotate over to the next one, it's going to be 0 times this plus 1 times this. And so you get 7, 8 across. So what it does is this repeats this row here and everything else is 0. What if I move the 1 down to here? Well, what it's going to do is it's going to do the same thing, but now it's just moving the 7 and 8 down to here. And if I move it down to the third row, Second column, well now it's going to just put 7, 8 here, rest are 0. What if the 1 is here? Well, if the 1 is here, now this is getting repeated. Because if I do 1 times 5 plus 0 times 7, I'm going to get a 5 here. And likewise, if I do 1 times 6 plus 0 times 8, I'm going to get a 6 here, so I'm going to get 5, 6 here. So if I'm in this, if the 1 is in this column, I'm going to be repeating the top row, which is 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, depending on where the 1 is. Okay? Now what if I'm on the other side? What if, what if I'm multiplying by this matrix unit on the right? Well, now look what's happening here. Now, it's instead of repeating rows, it's going to repeat columns. So think about it, it's, it's 1 times 0 plus 2 times 0 plus 3 times 0. So there you get 0. But what if I want um, this one, right? What about this one? Well, if I do what? That's going to be the first row, third, uh, second column, right? So that's going to be 1 times 1, which is 1, right? plus the rest of zeros. 1 times 1, which is 1, plus 2 times 0, plus 3 times 0. So you just get 1. Boom. And then what about this one? It's Well, it's, it's second row now. So it's going to be 4 times 1, plus 0, you know, 0 plus 0. So you're basically, if it's here, you're repeating the first column here. Well, what if one is here. Well, now what's being repeated? Not the one, four, five. What's being repeated now? Well, you can see. Let's just go through the process. If I'm repeat, if I'm going through, and I would say, okay, well, if this is the one being repeated. It's going to be four times zero. So let's do. <coughs> oh, bless me. Um, if I move the one here, just for example, what happens? Now I go through and I go what? If I do this row times this column, I'm just going to get zeros. Boom. If I do this row times this column, what am I going to get? I'm going to get what? 0 plus 2 plus 0. So I'm going to get what? A. Uh, hold on, so let me just check, make sure. I'm, yeah, I'm going to get a 2 here. And now, now I'm going to go and uh, start on this row. So I'm going to do this row times this column, which is just going to give me 0. And then I do, I do this column times this row, I'm going to get a 5. Boom. So I get 2, 5. And you see where I'm going. It's going to repeat 2, 5, 8. So if I move the 1 here, it's going to repeat 1, 4, 7. If I move the 1 here, it's going to, it's going to repeat 2, 5, 8. 
And if I put the 1 at the bottom here, it's going to give me 369 here. Now, what if I go over here? Well, what happens? Well, I get 1, and then the rest are zeros. So I get a 1 here. So in other words, what's going to happen is I'm going to move this over to here. It'll be 1, 4, 7 over on the left side. And if I move it to here, it'll be 2, 5, 8 on the left side and so on, okay? So, just to give you an idea what's going on here. Now, what if I make this a two? What's gonna happen? Well, we already know what the matrix unit does. It just repeats seven eight. Well, what if I make that a two? Well, then from previous discussions, it's just gonna double these. So this will be 14, and that'll be 16, okay? Talk to you later.